Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be snack prep because I've said it before, the easiest way to eat healthy is to have healthy foods available. And you can go to the health food shop and spend a whole bunch of money that you don't have on health foods, or you can just prep your own snacks. Because for me, if I know I've got something healthy in the fridge to snack on, when I do feel snacky, it's really easy to just grab and be satisfied rather than if you don't have anything available, it's a lot more tempting to go down to the 7-Eleven and get something a little bit cheeky. So to stay on track with my goals, I like to prep some snacks every week. I do like rotate it a little bit so you don't get sick of things, have a bit of variety going on. So this is just what I'm prepping this week and hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm going to prep our chili tuna patties. So they're going to be like little meatball sized patties. Um, they're super easy to make just using cans of tuna, um, a little bit of olive oil and some chili because I like them to be a bit spicy. I've previously made them with the tuna cans that are like chili and oil. They're delicious, but the fat quantity is quite high. So you do get better macros if you make it yourself. So I'm just using three of these tuna in spring water that I am going to drain. Um, I don't really have a brand preference. I buy whatever's on sale and these ones were half price. So I'm just going to drain these guys and then start mixing. The base for this recipe is just three cans of tuna in spring water drained, um, half a cup of flour. I'm going a quarter each of coconut and tapioca today, but almonds will just go the full half, also works really well. And one egg. Throw in one tablespoon of either olive oil or coconut oil. So you want to mix that all together and then throw in your flavors. I'm just going salt and chili to keep it super simple. If you wanted something a little bit fresher, you could go like lemon juice and a little bit of mustard. Basically, you do you. Uh, and then mix it together. Use your hands. It's way easier. And then break it into rough little balls that are all about the same size. So just like that, and pop those on to a baking tray. Smoosh those down into like patty shapes, chuck them in your preheated oven, and that's the first batch of snacks done. We'll check on those in about 10 to 15 minutes. So the second thing we're making is boiled eggs. I feel like boiled eggs are so underrated. They are so easy and so quick to just like grab and snack on and definitely satisfying and, you know, very healthy. So the trick to boiled eggs is to actually leave your eggs out of the fridge for like five, 10 minutes to cool down to room temperature first and then put them in a pot with cold water and bring it to boil. I used to always make boiled eggs by just pouring boiling water over cold eggs. And basically my eggs would always crack or be really hard to peel or just like not cook right. So I'm just popping six eggs because half a dozen is plenty and I'm just gonna cover them with water and then pop that on the stove. So I've got my eggs there covered with water. It's just on the stove and I'm going to bring that to a boil. And then once it's boiled, I turn the stove off, pop the lid on and let them just sit in the hot water. And so depending on like how well boiled you like your eggs is how long you leave it on. I like mine like medium to well done. So I like to leave them in the hot water for like six to eight minutes. If you want them softer, leave them in for less. If you want them like hard boiled, leave them in for I'd say up to like 10 minutes boiling and doing its thing. We're also going to make protein pancakes or little like protein pikelets. So these are really cute like in the morning if you're on the go you can just like grab one or two, have like a little snack or when you feel like something a little bit sweet but not like an actual treat, these are also really good. So for this you do need one very ripe spotty banana. So I've got this guy has been sitting in the fruit bowl daring me to make something with him and you also need protein powder so i'm using the thrive 
plant protein from Naked Harvest, just in the flavour vanilla. You can use any protein you like in any flavour you like, and obviously like the flavour you pick just flavours your pancakes. So into a food processor, I'm just checking up my one banana, two eggs, and blending back together. You definitely don't need a food processor. You can mash and blend by hand. It is up to you. I just prefer my batter to be a little bit more of like a smooth consistency. I'm then going to chuck in one heaped tablespoon of my protein powder of choice, give that a little bit of a blend, and finally add half a cup of oat and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Now, if you're not using a food processor and you do the oats, your pancakes will be like a little bit chunkier and grainier, which is totally nice and delicious. If you do use the food processor, they blitz them a little bit and it's still chunky, but not as much. Once you've got your batter, you chuck that onto a preheated pan. You do want to make sure your pan is preheated, like when the batter goes on the pan, it is already hot, so it just kind of sears each side. Um, otherwise, you will end up with a bloggy pancake. I'm a huge fan of these egg ring things that I got. I got mine from like Big W. They're silicon and really easy to use as mold for a pancake, so you do get a really nice shape and they don't like mush into each other. But you can get like any egg rings from like anywhere. Just make sure you use a little bit of coconut or olive oil to like grease them beforehand otherwise your pancakes will stick to them so you can kind of see the bubbles have started to rise on my eggs which means the water is boiling so i'm just going to where are we, switch that off and chuck the lid on and hey siri set the timer for eight minutes and just pop the timer on for those. My pancakes are cooking. You wanna wait until you see the little bubbles like start to pop up, which means that they are done on the bottom, so you can flip them over. Checking on our tuna, so it's actually been about 15 minutes, and those look awesome. So they're just like a little bit crispy, nice little patties, and yep, they stick together really well. So those are done, and we'll grab them out. So these guys are starting to look good. Yeah. See what I mean about the perfect pancake shape? How good is that? And now let's see my flipping skills one handed. Four. Ooh, that one was. Not as good. There we go. Easy. That last one didn't work out as well, but those look pretty good and that is perfect. So those will just cook on the other side and then we'll repeat until you're out of batter. Hmm. So they look like little cookies, but they're very good. We definitely got a bit of a kick from the chili, so I quite like them. Definitely good. So there you have it, that is three super quick snacks to prepare. I think all up it took about half an hour to do everything because I was able to multitask. I will pop the macros on the screen for all three of those snacks. I mean, the eggs are pretty simple, they're just eggs. Super easy to grab on the run, super convenient. And this is what I will be snacking on this week, um, obviously in addition to like proper meals and stuff. So if you did like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and let me know if you do make any of the things I've made and how you go. If you have any other like to die for snack experiences, please let me know down in the comments below because I am always looking for new snack because I am always looking for new snack ideas. Like I said, I like to rotate so I don't get bored of any one thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.